what is a connection gas what causes connection gas in valve bore now uh, answer is very simple connection gas as the name itself says that the gas which comes in the valve bore during connection is called connection gas but the question is why gas comes during connection in the valve bore so what happens in the valve bore during connection okay so that can be best understood by taking one example so in this case i have taken one example of one well where the well is drilled with very minimum overbalance now here the overbalance with the hydrostatic head is only 50 psi whereas the formation pressure is 5000 psi and the hydrostatic pressure is 5050 psi now during drilling one more pressure added add to the bottom and that is the annular pressure loss or the frictional losses in the annulus during drilling the bhp going to be 5250 psi so the overbalance is 250 psi now in this well during drilling there is no problem there is no chance of gas that comes into the well bore but what will happen when i stop for connection so let's see so when i stop for connection i will lose annular pressure losses or friction losses due to uh, pump because i have to stop the pump to make a connection now what i have got here is hydrostatic pressure is 5050 psi whereas the formation pressure is 5000 so the overbalance left is only 50 psi now what happens when i raise the string to space out during that time there will be a swap pressure beneath the bit so here there is a negative pressure created due to upward movement of string and since the margin is very less the overbalance is only 50 psi and if the swap pressure is more than 50 psi there is a 100% chance that influx will come into the well bore okay so here the swap pressure is minus 100 psi so in this case my bhp will go down by 50 psi and that will invite a gas lock so due to the upward movement of string and because of very slim or very less overbalance it invites a gas lock so i've got a gas one gas column in the valve bore as you can see and due to this what happens to bhp let's say because of this lighter fluid which replaces the heavier fluid in this place i've got heavy mud and it which has been replaced by a gas so due to that lighter fluid there is a drop in hydrostatic pressure let's say the drop in hydrostatic pressure is 150 psi so after making a connection once the gas column is inside the well bore now my bhp in static condition reads 4900 psi and well is under balance because 5000 psi is acting upwards and 4900 is acting downwards okay so well is flowing in this case and till the pumps are off till the time pumps are off during connection there there is a chance that gas will keep on coming into the well bore but the moment i resume the drilling so i have to start the pump so the moment i start pump i will again get 200 psi as an apl so when i start pump apl also start acting at bottom and now the hydrostatic pressure plus apl will be 5100 psi and the overbalance is 100 psi so i have got no problem let's say the bottom sub time is 30 minutes so what will happen after 30 minutes so when i drill initially i drill with one column of gas after one connection so if i make a connection after 30 minutes so the first column of gas which is there in the well bore after 30 minutes it will go out so it goes out and as you can see the hydrostatic pressure again becomes 5050 and my bhp again becomes 5250 psi and the overbalance again becomes 250 psi so this is very good practice but let's say if i make a connection after 25 minutes then what will happen so when i make a connection after 25 minutes 
with a bottom sub time of 30 minutes so the first column of gas will be near to surface and due to second connection i will get second influx so i'll get second column of gas and due to this one more reduction takes place and due to this reduction the hydrostatic pressure reduced to 4750 as you can see in the figure and when i start pump so again apl will start acting at bottom and now the bhp is 4950 psi which includes hydrostatic pressure of mud plus apl so in this case my well is under balanced by 50 psi and continuously the well will flow so now the well is flowing continuous so in this case how to drill with the connection gas keeps on coming into the well pore so the first learning is that when i allow as we have seen that when i allow only one column of gas so when i allow only one column of gas the hydrostatic pressure plus apl still manages to be above the formation pressure and still i have got 100 psi of overbalance but the moment i allow two columns of gas or two influx of gas column then what will happen the hydrostatic pressure plus apl will be less than the formation pressure and the well keeps on flowing so the learning outcome from this is the good operating practice that whenever i'm drilling i should drill in such a way that at a moment i have only one gas column in the well pore so good operating practice is control rate of drilling such a way that only one gas column is allowed in a well bore at a time so it's clear from this clarification that if you allow more than one column of gas then well starts flowing this means that we should allow only one gas column at a time so this is my first good operating practice that i should make a connection after bottom sub time so that only one column of gas is allowed okay second good operating practice so as we have seen that uh, we were we were drilling with a very a less overbalance of 50 psi and to make a connection we uh, we learn that uh, because of less overbalance small overbalance an upward movement of string invites invites a gas column and due to this gas column there is a reduction now this reduction depends on volume of gas that comes in the well bore and volume of gas depends on time taken to make the connection so if i take long time to make a connection then the volume of gas will be more and if volume of gas is more then the reduction will be more so can i reduce the volume of gas yes so if i can limit or reduce the gas influx volume during connection thus bhp reduction will be less so how to do this there's an example let's say in this case the connection time is three minutes and due to this there is a gas influx of six barrels and there is a reduction of 150 psi if I reduce my connection time to half, let's say now I take connection time one and a half minutes, which is half of three minutes. So in this case, what will happen? The influx volume is half. So now the influx volume is only three barrels. And due to this, what happens to the reduction? Reduction is also less. And as a result, the hydrostatic pressure after reduction is 4,975. So second good operating practice is make a fast connection. This will reduce the underbalance time. Thus the volume of influx will be less. As a result, the reduction in BHP will be less. So I've got two good operating practice. Control rate of drilling so that I allow only one influx column at a time. And second, reduce the connection time by making a fast connection.